Everyone is preparing for Christmas. There's lights and trees and presents and great excitement. But why? What are they celebrating? Christmas is Christmas, the birthday of Jesus Christ. The lights and presents remind us of the present that God gave us in Jesus. He became the light of the world. I don't understand. What happened? Let me tell you all about it. You can help with the story. It all started about 2,000 years ago in a small town called Nazareth. Are you? Mary, do not be afraid. God is with you. But who are you? I am a messenger from God. He is sending his son into the world. He will be a great man and will be called Jesus. God has chosen you to be his mother, if you are willing. But how will this happen? I'm not married. I can't have a baby. Nothing is impossible to God. Even your cousin Elizabeth is now six months pregnant. Elizabeth? That's wonderful. We thought she was too old. So Mary, what do you say? Will you let God's Holy Spirit guide you? Yes, of course I will. Let it happen to me as you said. Angel, what about my fiancé Joseph? What will he think? Mary, don't worry. I will speak to Joseph. God has sent me to watch over you and your baby. He said, whenever you need me, just call my name and I'll be there. speak to Joseph in a dream. I will tell him not to be afraid and to marry Mary. Looking forward to seeing Mary again. Of course you are. She's been away several months. 
She's been helping cousin Elizabeth with her new baby, hasn't she? And yes, what a joy that is. So kind of Mary. She gets that from our side of the family, you know. That Elizabeth finally has a child. No problems producing babies on our side of the family. Oh, look, she's coming. Oh, Mary, it is so wonderful to see you. Oh, no, it can't be. Mary? She's pregnant? And not married. The disgrace. Terrible, bringing shame on us all. Mary, did someone hurt you? No, I... Then what happened? An angel came to see me. He said that God wanted to send his son to save the world. He asked me to be the baby's mother. An angel? It all sounds a bit strange to me. We've never had anything like that on our side of the family. Oh, the shame. And our cousin married to a high priest. She didn't get that from our side of the family either. Never mind that. When the word gets out, all her friends will leave her. And when Joseph finds out, he'll be devastated. He won't marry her now. She's in real trouble. Yes. When the Pharisees find out, they will stone her to death. Mary, just tell us the truth, please. I am. Why don't you believe me? Can this day get any worse? Look, there's Joseph coming now. With our neighbours. And some Roman soldiers. I smell trouble. Um, will I put up the notice now? Don't be daft. Look around you. Do you think any of these peasants can read? Not likely. We'd better read it out. Can I do the announcement this time? Uh, please? And can you read it? Um, I, I think so. OK, then. But you've got to command their respect. Give them an inch and we will have a riot on our hands. Um, hear ye, hear ye. That means... Listen up, you lot, or else. Our um, most noble, uh, noble leader of the free world. Who lives far away yet still terrorises us. Our great emperor. The one who takes our taxes. The one who can have you flogged or crucified if you don't show his soldiers some respect. <laughs> Has ordered a, a census of all his people. Every man needs to go to the town of his parents to be counted. All this needs to happen in the next month so you'd better spread the word and get moving Joseph's family is from Bethlehem. He will have to go back to register. Poor Joseph. It is such a long way. Mind you, I wouldn't blame him for getting away from all this. Yes, there's no way he'll want Mary now. But what about Mary? How do we protect her?
were an angel. Mary, I had a dream about an angel too. She told me that it would be okay. I so want that to be true. I have to go to Bethlehem. It's not safe for you here. Let's get married today and come with me to Bethlehem. Today? Why not? Let's tell your family. Anna, Joachim, we're getting married today and going to Bethlehem. My family will welcome Mary. Oh, Joseph, that's wonderful news. I'll tell the rabbi. I always said it would turn out well. She's always been such a good girl. Yes, what a blessing she is. Let's party. My favourite niece is getting married. Who goes there? We are travellers from the east. So we have been following the star to look for a newborn king. But it has been cloudy this last week, and we might have got a bit lost. Do you have a king? We have a king, Herod. I'll bring you to him. Greetings, fine travellers. I am Herod, King of the Jews. You are men of wealth and sophistication, I can tell. We don't get many learned travellers here. Come, bring them some food and drink. What can I do for you fine gentlemen? We are Balthazar, Caspar and Melchior, travellers from the east. We have come to pay homage to the newborn king. We have brought gifts. King? There's, there's, there's no newborn king in this pal palace. What, what gave you that silly idea? We followed a star to near here. A star? Hmm. What do you have to say about this? There was a prophecy many years ago that a king would be born. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Your Majesty, it, it, it wouldn't be here. It's in Bethlehem, a few miles away. Ah, oh, there we have it. Go and look in Bethlehem. And if you find the baby, let me know, um, so that I can um, go and pay homage to him. Of course, I had to visit the wise men in a dream as well as to warn them about Herod. Did Mary and Joseph get to Bethlehem? Yes, and while they were there, her time came to have her child. What a holy night that was.
see the baby? Yes, in a little while. But first, we have people to tell. Let's visit the shepherds and see if they're awake. Oh, I'm bored. You're always bored. To be fair, I can understand that. There's no smartphones, computer games, television even. No wonder he's bored. And it's dark, so he can't even read a book. Shh, watch. There's nothing to do. Keep an eye on the sheep then. That should keep you out of mischief. Nothing ever happens. That's on a good night. You don't want to find a wolf coming, let me tell you. Oh, whatever. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the Awesome! What's happening? We bring good news. A baby has been born. He is Christ the Lord. What? You mean the Messiah? The one who's come to save us? Yes, it's true. Go and see him. He'll be in a palace then. All posh. Not for the likes of us. No, he is in an ordinary house, like yours. What? With animals? Nah. Yes, they're staying with Joseph's family. The house is full with people and with animals. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Come, let's go and see. Can we see him too? Yes, let's go and worship him. Isn't he perfect? A gift of new life. And God has entrusted him to our care to love and cherish. It's hard to take in, isn't it? Joseph, I'm so happy, but I'm exhausted. I could sleep forever. Not just yet, Mary. I think that I can see some people arriving. see the baby to pay homage the angels told us about him you are welcome come in this is my wife Mary and the light of our life Jesus 
He will bring love wherever he goes. He already has brought so much love to us. And to us. Look, who is that coming? Mary, more visitors. These have come even further than we have. Welcome, kind sirs. We have followed a star and travelled many months, but it has been worth it to finally arrive. Your baby will be great. I have brought him a gift of gold fit for a king. I have brought him frankincense, for he will be holy. He will be a light for all to follow. I have brought him myrrh. Thank you. We will treasure your words and these things. And that is the story of how Christmas started. Jesus touched the lives of everyone he met, and still does to this day. So on Jesus' birthday, we give presents. To remind us of God's present to us. And we celebrate. Because Jesus showed us how to find God and turn away from the sin that hurts them. Now that really is a happy day. Oh, happy day.